Welcome back to another episode of the Azure Enablement Show. Today, we're going to talk about how you can save money with the Azure Saving Plan recommendations. Welcome back. My name is Thomas, and I'm here with Obina to talk about the Azure Savings Plan recommendations. If you're watching this video and you want to learn more about this, check out the recommendation and links below this video. Um, so, Obina, it's great to have you on the call. And before we actually dive into the Azure Savings Plan recommendations, can you remind our viewers uh, what Azure Savings Plan uh, for Compute is? Thanks, Thomas. Uh, Azure Savings Plan for Compute is an easy and flexible way to save money on compute services spend uh, compared to pay-as-you-go prices. And so what customers do is you can commit to a, an hourly amount to spend over a one to three year period. And in exchange for that, you get significant discounts over the on-demand prices. Okay, this is fantastic. And obviously a lot of uh, customers who have already seen this are very interested in this. Um, and for those who haven't tried it yet, uh, where would they go to actually purchase a savings plan? You can purchase savings plan by going to Azure portal. So you can you first navigate there, search for a uh, savings plan, um, click on that. You'll be brought to the savings plan blade where you can click add, and then you can go through the purchasing process just by filling out the necessary information. Awesome. So uh, one question is when I talk to customers who are using the savings plan, uh, I get a lot is um, how much commitment should I make? How do I select the right savings plan uh, and so on? Because this is very individual. So I know that um, obviously Azure Savings Plan recommendations are here to address this, if that's correct. So um, we also get a lot of questions. How are these generated? So Avina, can you probably explain how these recommendations are generated? Sure. Uh, yeah, we, we it's very difficult to figure out exactly how much to commit. And so we try to do that work for you. So we look at your hourly usage, um, what you've spent on savings plan eligible resources over the last 7, 30 and 60 days. And we do some calculations where we try to determine what is the op what would have been the optimal savings plan amount for each one of those um, each hour within the seven day, the 30 day and the 60 day period. We then take that optimal savings plan amount. And we attempt to simulate what would have happened if you had made that purchase and your cost reflected the existence of a savings plan. After we run all those simulations, we take the top 10 of those simulations that actually resulted in positive savings and we present those to you as recommendations. So in fact, your recommendations are based on what you're actually spending. Okay, this is fantastic. Can you probably dive into and explain this a little bit deeper and show us also a little bit how that looks like? Sure, absolutely. So let's uh, talk about um, a customer that would be a good fit for savings plan. Um, in this example, our customer Contesso, they run a uh, help desk service. And because they are serving uh, globally, it's really important for them to, they leverage these compute services uh, through multiple regions over the course of a day. And so that makes them a really good candidate for a savings plan. So in this example, how we figure out how we generate the recommendation is we're going to go through several steps. We're going to first figure out what did you spend. We're going to calculate the what I call the commitment candidates. These are the amounts that say for this hour, this is the perfect savings plan amount. We're going to run some simulations where we figure out what would you have saved if you've had that commitment. And then at the end of the day, when we simulate all 720 um, candidates, we're going to say, here are the top 10. Uh, and this is what we're going to present to you as a customer. So again, um, as I mentioned, um, we want to start by looking at your usage. And so when we look at Contesto's usage, we might say, OK, over the these 720 hours, we, we go through hour one, hour two, all the way down. And we say, this is their usage. What did they actually spend? And in this example, they spent a little bit over $7, so $7.32 and uh, fractions of that. So we say, great, let's do, let's figure out that same answer for all of the remaining hours um, within that 30 day uh, look back period, which in this case is um, 720 distinct hours. So now that we know what they were spending for every single hour, we want to understand what is the optimal savings plan amount for each one of those hours. All we do is we apply the savings plan discount for each one of those hours and we say, what's the net 
um, what's the resultant um, savings plan commit optimal amount? So in this, this example for hour number one, their usage, their on-demand co cost was $7.32. Here, when we apply the savings plan discounts, we find that the right amount for them from a savings plan perspective is a little bit more than $3.30. Okay, so we now know this is the optimal amount for hour number one. Let's take hour number one's value and apply it to hour number two, hour number three, and all the remaining hours in that 720 hour window. And so we're going to follow the benefit application rules that exist for savings plan, um, i.e. Um, look at the, the meter that has the greatest discount, apply the savings plan to that first, and then work our way down. And so as we go through that process, in this particular example, we find that a $3.30 um, savings plan isn't actually enough to fully cover that first meter. And so there's going to be some overage. We're going to fully consume the savings plan, and then we're going to incur an on-demand cost of um, $1.57. Then we're going to go on that second meter, and we're going to, because the savings plan is gone, we're going to um, just uh, charge that one as the full on-demand rate. So the net of this as we go through this is that we see that we incurred a total simulated cost of $6.87. That's actually still better than the on-demand um, cost that the customer had coming in, which was $7.32, remember. And so this $3.30 um, savings plan for hour number two resulted in a net savings of $0.44. Cents. That's progress. And so as we go through each one of those hours, if a candidate results in a positive savings, we want to keep it because it's, 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 it's got potential. Um, and But if it doesn't, we want to discard it. So we're going to run this analysis for hour number two, hour number three, all the way to hour 720. When we finish for each individual hour, um, each individual simulation, we want to compare all of them. Um, in this case, again, we have 720 candidates. We're going to simulate each one of those against every single hour. Um, the result of this is about a little bit over 500,000 calculations and simulations that we're doing on behalf of this. And when we finish this whole process, we're going to, again, select the 10, um, up to 10 um, candidates that actually resulted in savings. And that's what you end up seeing within the Azure portal UI when you click into the billing um, into the hourly commitment. You'll see in this example, we've presented four, um, $1.43 all the way to $1.43 and a little bit more um, change. Along with providing the commitment amount, we do provide additional information that says, here's your expected savings percentage, as well as the expected coverage. And this is the coverage that this savings plan and any other um, reservations and or savings plan you've pre previously purchased would have provided for you. We think that's really good information to help you uh, make the right choice, but you still also have the ability to put a custom amount if you want to go a little bit less. We wouldn't recommend going um, um, over because as you go over, you have additional waste. Um, and again, this is focused on making sure we provide you with the greatest cost savings. This is awesome. Again, um, so I'm, I'm I'm basically super happy that uh, these recommendations are there and I don't have to do all these calculations by myself. And I'm also super happy how you shared like what is happening behind the scenes, right? How are these calculations done and how are these uh, recommendations uh, generated? So again, super happy about this. So I know now a lot of customers who probably haven't tried uh, Azure Savings Plan for Compute now want to learn more uh, about this. So where do they go? Oh, we have lots of uh, resources to help them um, figure this out. So there's uh, our AKA slash savings plan dash compute, which is on our Azure.com site, which will help them understand broadly how savings plan works. We also have um, MS Learn content that will enable them to learn a little bit more um, about how savings plan work. And that's at AKA dot ms slash savings plan slash docs and lastly we have our document or api documentation which is at aka dot ms slash cost management slash api awesome and of course we put all these links in the description below so you can easily click on these uh thank you very much obina for being here uh today and clarifying the recommendations for azure savings plan for compute and thank you very much for everyone watching if you want to learn about more about the cloud adoption framework check out aka.ms adopt